Hello everybody, welcome back to Multiplayer Europa Universalis 4, featuring myself, Arthanex, as well as my two co-hosts, Torior. Hello. And Lord Malvern. Hey there. Alright, I'm gonna unpause. When we left off, uh, we were in the middle of a huge war between myself and uh, Torior, and... Let's, so just rem let's just point out that it was a sneak attack. Uh, it was a sneak attack by me, um, because who wants a fair fight after all? And so, uh, that war is now continuing, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, so it's going to be really interesting to see what happens. Um, just to my viewers, my game's a little bit gritty. Um, I think that might be because I left uh, a video rendering in the background and forgot about it. But uh, nevertheless, it should be done a few, in a few minutes, so bear with me. So, yeah, that's it. Right. Oh, Arthanex is actually moving out of my territory. Thank you, Arthanex. You are welcome. Hey, thanks for dealing with the rebels, friends. That's, that's a very that's very that kind of you. Right? Oh, I see where you're going. Will you be able to get there before I, you know, take your provinces? Probably. Probably will be able to get there. Oh, God damn it! Can I pause for a while, for a little while? Uh, yeah. Okay. So let me check something. Okay, so you're going to Argo, and my armies are here and here. Yeah, okay, I'm good. Alright, the tide of this war is definitely turning now. Not in to your, your advantage or to your disadvantage? Disadvantage. Hmm. It's not good. No. It no, isn't. It's an Arthanex. You go here. Where's my other army? Where is my other army? Oh, here it is. Okay. Alright. Coming to help. Please attach. Come on, come on, kill the British. I mean, in game. I do <laughs> like the British. In real life, I really like the British. I mean, at least some of them. Hmm, oh. your vassal doesn't seem to be supporting you. Ah, uh, they're busy. As long as I don't get a wipe, it's good. All is good. There they are. Who, the vassal? Mm hmm. Yeah. I guess I do earn more manpower than you, so. I think. So that might be a way out of this. Maybe not exactly out, but. Oh crap, I sure I know what I should have done, but I didn't. And I can't tell you because you, then you'd know my plans. No, no, not the attrition. Hmm. Where's the army? Here's the army. Good. You go there. Hmm. 
you guys just recover quickly. Okay, so what's going on, Lord Marvin? Uh, I've been chased around by France. I I've uh, That's never good. Seque sequestered myself in Ozel, which is being uh, the uh, the straits are being blockaded by Russia and Sweden, so France is not going to be able to get over here at least. Um, as long as they don't have a navy, which I France doesn't have. Uh, I don't think has a particularly strong navy, or at least they don't have one that's readily available in uh, Europe. I'm not. Right now, I am trying to decide on my next idea group while I'm waiting for manpower to recover and. Uh, I see. Support. Yeah. Hmm. Well, Basically, France is just is running around this this uh, this strait here. <laughs> <laughs> and I need to pause for a quick second. Oh, um, right. When we're at war, let's limit the pausing, right? Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I mean, when we're at war against each other, that's what I mean. Because reaction times and so on. Well, right. I mean, you paused mm -hmm. earlier. Yeah, I, yes, 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 I did that. I just wanted to point out. Or we could agree to not do it, uh, both. It's oh. um, I I'm good either way. Uh, I think if we limit it, that's probably fine. Oh, let's do that. Come on, come on, kill off the next troops, people. This is good, this is good. I have two choices here. Try to beat you or let let myself get defeated and uh, hold out for as long as I can and let Call for Peace eat you up. Oh, that was a mistake, France. You sent a 30 stack into, into the middle of uh, Russia's uh, great, uh, great countryside it's... here. Send a 63 stack against. Though I'm sure uh, Russia's a little bit farther behind in. Uh, uh, they're they're a technology behind. So. Oh, Arsenal one, one tech. Sieging Aragon. Oh, huh? yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. They'll probably sorry, win. Just... Actually. You win against France. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's, that's great for you. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Not for us. I mean, not for me. Um, no, for me, actually, I'm not. Uh, in I just noticed they, they took a terrain and a, a crossing penalty, though. And they have low morale. France has low morale. It's going to be close. Oh, yeah! Yeah, they won. They did it. Congratulations. Yeah, except uh, I wasn't involved in that, but. It did. It did bump up the war score from negative fifteen to negative seven. So. I see. Come on, come on, do the thing. Do the thing. Do de do. Lord Marvin, hypothetically, mm -hmm. when you're done with your war with France. Would you like to collude against Artanex? I thought uh, we decided that we weren't going to do that. We weren't going to ally each other, that's what we decided. Yes. Coalitions and stuff like that are another thing. I'm not desperate yet, but when I become desperate, we might... Mm, we might think of a deal where I give you the province or provinces you need to form Germany for something you do. Hmm. Just think about it. I'm yeah, not I'll, I'll think proposing about it. anything Sorry. yet. Just a, not a, the most evil plan. A slightly evil one. You know, becoming desperate, trying my best. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I certainly understand that position. Because you still do intend to form Germany, right? 
that would be something I would like to do. Uh, my eastward expansion could still... I could still expand eastward a bit more, of course. Um, but yeah, obviously I would need provinces from you in order to form Germany. I would need provinces Curious, from Arthenex as well. In theory, what would you need from me? Uh, Nuremberg. Uh, and I need, uh, uh, Bra uh Braunschweig from, uh, mm -hmm. from Great Britain, so. I see. We can certainly consider options. Mm -hmm. If it comes to that. Uh, yeah, we certainly can. Okay, monitor Arthanex's army constantly. Did we, uh... Mm -hmm. Excuse me, Russia. Russia, come over here, boy. Come on. Come on. Go, let's take on this 33 stack. Come on. Where are you going? Russia? Russia? Uh, am I lagging behind because I can't move my army? Okay, now I can. I wonder, how much war exhaustion can you endure at the next... Well, you do have reduction from Defender of the Faith, so probably a lot. No chatting between enemies, then. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I can endure a fair amount, yeah. Let's call this a semi-carpet siege. <sighs> Did I call those provinces, or are you breaking the core in progress? I did call them. Okay. Not a big deal, then. Oh, crap. I should help them. Alright. Uh, this. Where are you going, army? No! <laughs> I'm juggling so many things at the moment. <laughs> uh, player wars, so difficult. Uh, let's get an idea of something. Oh my god. <clears throat> Seizing the war goal, I see. It does have a decent fort. So it will take you some time. You were sieging Tyrol, as I see you abandoned that. I can't complain because of the gold stuff. Okay then, how are you doing Lord Marvin? Uh, we just lost a major battle with France, actually. I was not able to get there to help my allies in time, so... Uh... So now I'm, I've gotta... Uh, lay low. And, uh... Wait for my allies to recover their armies a bit more. Before, uh... We make, make another offensive. And hopefully they will, uh... You know, actually, uh... Be smart Do about it. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sieging back some of my provinces, though, so that's uh, that's always nice. Okay, okay. It's a pity I don't have naval dominance. I'd blockade uh, something out of you. <sighs> There's a 102k stack sitting on Breslau right now. 103k stack. Yeah. Breslau, uh, yeah. Wrocław today, if you're interested. And coincidentally, that's exactly where I'm going on the business trip. And I think I did tell it, tell it last week, say it last week. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Uh, 
It's actually occupied by Poland right now. Perfect. Yeah. Just as it should. Oh. We're giving them easy victories, guys. Sorry? Uh, they keep sending their, their armies off to, to fight uh, France's big, uh, big stacks. But, uh, honestly, that's not going to help any. Can we get there before... Oh, God damn it! Oh, Arthenix, hello. You're coming back, I see. France is too damn fast. Uh, well, they do have a three-star general. That's probably not helping. Come on, come on. Get away from the Arthanax ar Arthanaxi army. It's too stupid. Some sort of morale penalty I'm taking whenever I fight France. Uh, I don't think it's a moral penalty. I think they're just that good. Um, oh, you mean that your morale is uh, smaller? Yeah. It's because their maximum morale is much higher. Well, that would explain it, I suppose. Let's see here. They've taken both offensive and defensive ideas. Yeah, they're good. And I'm running out of manpower. Hello, Arthanax army that I just killed. I mean, defeated. Oh, the province of Berg. Hello, Torrier army that I just lured into attacking me so I can get the defensive penalty bonus. I do have a good general there. Oh, you do too. I, I suppose it could go either way. Nope, not anymore. Yeah. Got Sometimes you gotta lose a battle to win a battle. Hmm. Okay, I'm not losing it as, as much as I thought I would. Give it time. <laughs> Alright, I was supposed to ask you what you would want from this war. Theoretically. Theoretically? Well, number one on my list of desires is the null treaties with France, of course. Which isn't really something I would want to do. Yeah, I'm not surprised about that. Um, okay. But I did take your capital, which should give you a good amount of war exhaustion. Um, Okay, it's less than I thought. Yeah, my war exhaustion is still okay for the moment. Um... Hmm. Oh, I'm losing? How am I losing? I did take a lot of your land and you only took a bit of mine. Or am I counting that wrong? Really, was that intentional? Uh, let's see... But I mean, I, I probably didn't need to fight you in that province. Well, let me find. 
Hmm, it's weird. I uh, the Moldavian general is actually leading this, which is weird, but not that bad. Although they do have um, slightly, um, not slightly, they have lower tactics, but they have higher combat ability, so it might go either way. Slightly in my fav favor for now. Reinforcements coming in. <clears throat> All right, then. Okay, um, you're not really very talkative when this is happening. Uh, I'm mm. concentrating. Yeah, I, I'm trying to see what I can. Come on, the army of Arthanex. Uh... Crap, they run away. I was hoping to wipe the army, but yeah. Is that All the timer right, already? that is the timer. Just, just on pause, just on pause. Just, I, and let's, just for a little while. Because there's stuff happening. Yeah. Let's see what's going to happen here. Oh, I lost the claim. Just until this happens. I know you did want to fight me there, but I did want to fight you there as well, but I did underestimate the fact that Moldavia would take over again, giving me lower tactics. So, crap. Hmm. Let's just fight this battle and then we can end the episode, okay? Okay. Okay, I think I'm gonna make peace here. Good front? And the other people? Yeah. Hmm, nice. Okay, and I did lose. Oh, right. Hmm, I was hoping this would not happen. Still, not that bad. Only minus one war score. So, um, yeah, I think right, take it so, away. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed the episode, please consider liking the video or subscribing to our channels. And check out the video links in the, the links in the video descriptions below for alternate perspectives. Uh, once again, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a terrific day. See ya, Marvin. Oh, hey. take care. Sorry, <laughs> uh, just had a wall pop up. Sorry. Okay, uh, quick break. Thirty seconds. <laughs>